about 30 minutes ago. For those of you who are just joining us, there was a, a tremendous uh, streak across the sky. And of course, the uh, phones lit up here. Our emails and social media went crazy as well. That's a picture of what you were looking at just uh, 30 minutes ago if you were with us. And we want to bring in Drew Hamilton, uh, Kirk, who's with White Sands Missile Range. He has more information uh, to share with us on what that might have been. Drew, good morning. Morning. Uh, so, you know, a lot of people in, in Arizona uh, always sending us lights and things like that in the sky and wondering if they're UFOs or is that a plane that went down. Tell us what you, you know from White Sands. Uh, what that is, is that is a contrail from a uh, Juno rocket that uh, we shot out of Fort Wingate and down to White Sands Missile Range. Uh, Fort Wingate is a uh, small uh, operation that's uh, just outside of Gallup, New Mexico. When people hear about missiles, uh, they always wonder, you know, is this dangerous? Is this a ballistic missile that's going to cause problems? Is this a common thing that you're doing? Uh, it's not all that common, but it is something that we have done before. Uh, and what we did is uh, when we need to do a test with, that uh, requires a uh, target with a particularly long range, this is what we use. So in this case, the Juno missile was the target, and it was uh, intercepted down at White Sands by a Patriot Advanced Capability 3 missile, or a PAC-3. So two missiles were shot then, one that went out, the Juno went out, and another one that attacked it? Uh, three, technically, they fired uh, two PAC-3s at it. Okay. And what did we learn from all of that, and what should people at home know? Well, people at home should know that everything went exactly as planned. Uh, we, as I said, we've done this before, and our guys are very, very good at uh, setting this sort of thing up and making sure that it all goes uh, properly and safely. Uh, as far as what we learned from it, that's kind of on the project side, and <laughs> we don't really have anything that we can say at this time about that. On a need-to-know basis, and we don't need to know. Kurt. In other words, that's <laughs> classified. Hey, hey, Drew, so I'm looking, this, uh, looking at this on uh, Google Earth here, and you guys can take a look with me if you'd like. The, the White Sands Missile Complex, if you will. And I, as I zoom out, uh, you know, there's a tool on here I can measure how far it is from the Phoenix Metro. I mean, we are talking about 330 miles. People in Utah are reporting this, people in North Dakota reporting this. Is that typical that this would be seen from so far away? It's not unheard of. We have gotten calls from Phoenix before when we've done this in the past. Andrew, is this something that you would typically not warn people about? Because obviously a lot of people are looking up saying, what is going on? We do put out a lot of uh, notifications because in order to do a shoot of this kind, we have to clear the airspace in between Fort Wingate and White Sands Missile Range. White Sands owns all, its own airspace all the way up well, into space, but uh, as far as in between here and Fort Wingate, we do have to coordinate with the FAA just to ensure that uh, nothing is in the way when this happens and right. make sure that there's a uh, drop point for the uh, booster stage of the rocket. And and sure never any danger out there to people in New Mexico, right? I'm sorry? And never any danger to the people out there in New Mexico. This is obviously, I would imagine, this has to be a pretty safe test for you guys. We work very, very hard to keep it as safe as possible, yes. Yeah, I was going to say, I guess with three missiles in the sky, when those blow up, where do they fall? Are they pretty controlled, or do you know where they are? Uh, I can't say exactly where, but I, my understanding is that we do that. The actual intercept took place on White Sands Missile Range, so... All righty. Well, that's, that was an interesting lesson in what the heck is in the sky. We now know. Drew Hamilton, thanks so much for being with us from White Sands Missile Range. We appreciate it. You're Kirk. welcome.